Hi YouTube, it's Joe here. It's uh, Sunday morning and um, I did go out uh, on Saturday. I didn't go out today on the Sunday. Um, I'd had a wedding on Saturday evening and didn't get back till really late and um, yeah, it's not like I need to pick up too much more stuff at the moment anyway. So yeah, just whiz through what I picked up on Saturday and then some of the sales that I had throughout the day on Saturday. Um, a couple of things I've not had before, a few nice sales and yeah, I'll just go straight into it. Um, this is a really nice pair of trainers that I picked up. The guy wanted 10 quid for these. I managed to get them down to 8 quid for them, but they're just really, really nice pair of Nike Air Max 90s. They're in really, really good condition. They're quite a cool colourway, and I imagine, I haven't even checked actually. No. I wonder if they had the reflection here. It looks like it should be, but it's not. Well, they're just, they're just, these are the sort of trainers that I love to buy, like ones which are a bit more expensive than your sort of 4 or 5 quid ones, but they're just in really good condition, so they'll just sell themselves. They don't have to sort of take loads of time to describe them and to clean them and to sort them all out. So, yeah, they were great. Should look to get about 35 to 40 back on those. Um, a pair of Vans, I think these are Vans Zapato, Zapato, Zapato. They're not in particularly good. You know these these discs are gonna to have to be cleaned up a little bit, but these were two, these were a pound or yeah a pound, and I've sold a pair of these uh, just recently. I say deck shoes, summertime. You're gonna do quite well with these. These were cute. These were a little pair of Nike Air Maxes as well. Uh, really small size four, and they were four quid. No, I think I paid three pounds for those in the end. Um, so yeah, not bad. Again, should get about twenty twenty five back on those. This pair of um, Air Force ones. This lady wanted um, she wanted like eight quid on them. I managed to get them for. I managed to get them for six quid and then when this pair came out she had this pair in behind the counter and it didn't have the laces on it I said oh, I, I managed to get them for five quid I have got replacement laces I don't know if I've got any more of these left I think I might have one of those left so I'll put that on there and set them up if I don't have one one of those left I'll just take this one off I think it's better to sell them either both with or both without and then if and then save that for another day and then this pair of trainers here, these Nike Air Maxes. No, guys, these are, I just think they're so ugly, these trainers. Um, and I, I think this tread that you see here is the tread that they find at most crime scenes in the UK. Um, they're just, they, these are the trainers of criminals. These are, that's, 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 that's a true, that's, I've read that, that's a true statistic. But these are only two quid the guy wanted for them. And they're not in particularly good condition. But the difference between like these 95s and Air Force Ones is these cost about 125, 130 quid new, where these cost about 70 quid new. So even if these are pretty trash, they they just got more value, like they and they resell all right. So yeah, that's them. Uh, picked up something. I don't normally do much of this sort of stuff, but this was a Sony Walkman. It was a quid, and it had this AM/FM radio in it. And I think I've seen on videos of someone mentioned that you can do all right with those. It hasn't got this clip at the back, but you know, should get about a tenner back on that. I think maybe a little bit more. This was really great. These baseboards, I pick those up whenever I see them, and you guys, I'm sure, will do as well. That was a pound for that red one, and I've sold that red one for 15, 16 quid or something like that in the past. So, yeah, that's a great pickup. A few bits of media stuff, nothing too exciting. I've got Sonic the Hedgehog for 50p. Got a sealed copy of Homeland One. There's not really any money in that, but I had a friend who, want, who was asking about that and wants to watch it, so they'll, be really, they'll really appreciate that pickup. Simpsons Hit and Run for a pound. World of Warcraft, The Wrath of the Lich King. I only picked that up because I've got another one of those and I wanted to just bundle the two of them together. I don't know all about the product keys and all that for those, so hopefully it's all right. But that was 50p. And then one lady had a load of games. She had some Wii stuff. She had some DS stuff. It was pretty much all rubbish. Um, but because she, And she wanted £2 a game. So I, And I picked up the two which were just about worth having. Animal Crossing... It's just about worth two quid. Mario Kart on the Wii, that's complete. The disc's in great condition. So that was a good pickup for two quid. Then there's a couple of these games and things. And I said to the guy, I said, how much do you want for these? And he goes, to be honest with you, he just picked up a bundle of games and sort of just rubbish stuff and just handed it to me. He goes, just take it, just take it. Don't worry about money. He's a guy I buy lots of stuff off. But this is something called Newsopoly. Now, um, it's, I think it's like, it's like an educational learning sort of game. Um, I did have a quick look at the instructions and the board. It's pretty, it's pretty tacky. Not, yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's a bit tacky. It's a bit sort of just like cards and stuff like that. But it's all pretty much there. Well, it is all there. And um, not really many have sold. Somebody's got one priced on there for like 40 quid at the moment. Someone's trying to sell one for 50 quid. I mean, I don't think it's going to go for anything like that. And I think if you're made to sit down and play this, your parents, I don't know what they must, they must, <laughs> I don't know. It's not my idea of fun, like making up, like little songs and having to sing them or clap out little rhythms and all that sort of stuff but that's what that game's all about so i'll see how i get on with that i don't know if i'll manage to sell it or not but yeah there are people are asking quite a lot of money for it i think it has to come under sort of like educational school something like that 
And also with the bundle of stuff he gave me, is stuff just to probably just chuck away. This interior designs doodles book, it is new, but there's no money in it. And this Jacqueline Wilson board game, now there is a bit of money in that if it was complete, but it's got so many bits of it missing, I'll just use the box to send stuff in. So yeah, that was my pickups for the for the, uh, for the the Saturday, which was say was quite a, it wasn't a huge amount. I didn't feel like I was missing out on stuff. It just felt like there wasn't the right stuff to pick up. So, you know, that sometimes happens and that's cool. In terms of sales, I sold this really nice pair of um, Air Force Ones. And I think these ones are the ones with the reflective stuff. Yeah, they've got the reflective coating on them. And it just, and I got 22 quid for these, but they're basically like new. But it just goes to highlight that it's really difficult to sell some of your more obscure colours and your obscure colourways for your trainers compared to just the sort of the plain black and white ones when it comes to Air Force Ones. So they still sold all right. I got 22 quid for them. I can't remember what I picked up picked them up for because it was so long ago. But probably around like five quid or something like that. Sold Tetris on the NES. It's not in particularly good condition, but got 17 quid for that. And that was, again, that was either part of a bundle or not much. Pair of G-Star Raw Jeans. Paid a few quid for these and got 25 quid back on them. This pair of Nike Air Max 90s. These are, in, these are really nice colourway and in good condition, but they were just a little bit too small to get really good money for them. I still got £36 for them and they're going recorded delivery to Finland. So that was really nice. And then the Harry Potter UMD set. Um, they're all new except one of them in there. And one of them looks like a slightly different colour, but that one's a sealed one, so... Yeah, but um, yeah, 25 quid for those with free shipping. Having paid, I paid a little bit over the odds. So I think I paid eight quid for them or six or eight quid, something like that. But still made a bit of profit in it. And then finally, this bundle of Now CDs. This was part of the um, the sort of the the cases which I found outside my house. I've already sold the cases for, and they're all the leftovers for 85 quid. I got 22 quid on a dance compilation, and I got another 30 quid on that Now bundle there. So done really well out of that, especially as that was free. But that's all my pickups. Um, I'm probably going to be a bit quiet on videos for a little while because I've just got so much going on at work and I just don't think I'm going to have time to sort of do them in quite the same way that I have been up until now. But yeah, if, give, it, give it a week or so, I might be back on. Anyway, speak soon guys. Hope you're all doing well. Cheers. Bye.